Okay, this is the video all of you have been waiting for. What is my emergency backup generator setup? I'm gonna show you today what I have. I'm starting here at the breaker panel. I'm gonna open this. The first thing we're gonna find is an interlocking kit. You don't have to have this, but it's a security feature that is highly recommended by code. What it means is this locking device uh, don't allow you to um, turn on the breaker for the generator unless you shut off the main power coming from the grid or coming from the street. So you have to turn off the main breaker, you move this uh, interlock breaker down and then you are able to turn on the breaker for your generator. When you do that, you are not sending power out to the grid so if somebody's repairing some line uh, down the grid, you are not gonna be sending power. You potentially can kill someone if you do that. So this is a, fa a safety device, interlocking kit. This is the first thing you need to have here at your panel. Then you have the breaker. This is a 50 amp breaker. You can have a 50, you can have a 30 amp, all depends of your generator and the type of connection uh, you want to have at your house. With the 50 amp um, breaker, um, you have to connect this with a 63 um, wire. So it's number six for a 50 amp, and I believe it's number 10 for a 30 amp uh, breaker. In my case, I have a, 30, a 50 amp breaker, so it's a 63. Um, wire that you need to run from the breaker out to the generator. Okay, down here we have a three quarter inch electrical conduit. I have a 50 amp breaker, so I'm using six threes. What it means is there is four wires running down this conduit. It's a neutral ground and two hots. And uh, they are big, they are kind of thick. So three quarter fits. Yeah, it works, but one inch um, conduit will be a lot better, easier to run the wires through. So I would recommend a one inch if you can do it. If not, three quarter inch is what I have right now. Okay, here comes the three quarter inch conduit with a 6.3 wire connected to a Reliance uh, 50 amp power inlet. Okay, here is the connector. It's a Reliance CS6364 type connector. Just open it. Put it in there, twist it, and you're good to go. Okay, and at the other side of the Reliance 50 amp CS6364 block, we have this cable, okay? This is a 64SOOW cable. And um, remember, before I told you, we were using a 63 for a 50 amp. What it means is three cables are insulated and one is the copper that is not insulated. In this case, this is a 6-4. What it means is four cables running inside this core are insulated. All four are insulated. And this cable, SOOW, what it means is uh, service core, oil resistant, both inside insulated and outside jacket. The W stands for CSA, designation for weather water resistant. And this is connected to this connector right here that is a Reliance 14 50 P 50 amp and this we're going to connect it to my generator that as you already know this is a gem max gm 9000 id 9000 watts dual fuel okay that's my emergency backup generator setup here at my house um if you like this video and you find this uh, information helpful for you please give me a thumbs up subscribe and i'm gonna leave links to all the stuff that you saw on this video in the description below okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye